Hello, my kako. Welcome back to Halau na Puahala Puno Ike Kai. My name is Kumu Kanoi, and we are again coming live to you from right here on the island of O'ahu. We live here in uh, Nu'uanu Valley. This is actually our home where we teach hula out of and are coming to you live. Um, and we're right here in Nu'uanu Valley. And I know that so many of you are joining from all around the world. So thanks for letting us know in the comments as you join where you're joining from. And um, hopefully you've been following along with us all month. We have been doing a beautiful mele hula, which is known as Po La'i La'i. And um, so we've been covering um, about a verse or two each week, and we will continue to do that throughout this month of July. Um, and yeah, we have some exciting things. Actually, next week, next week's hula is going to be pre-recorded. I'm so sorry, but I'm not sorry because my husband and I have to go and celebrate our 10-year anniversary. So if I'm a little distracted, that's because I'm excited to finally uh, go on, on vacation. We're going to go to the island of Lanai and celebrate. So anyways, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, but we have lots to do today. We have to review verse 1 and 2 and also learn verse 3 of Pola Ila'i. So we're glad that you're here and we will say aloha to everyone in just a little bit. Hopefully you have invited a few friends to come in and join us because now it is time for hula. my welcome back looks like we have a pretty good gang on here thanks everybody for checking in so i see nora from mexico is joining us patricia joining us all the way from massachusetts michelle vaughn from louisiana we also have ivy now in jeju okay so she's back to jeju island nice to see you ivy i hope you had a great trip Mini Minerva Garcia Barrera. Aloha mai kau. I'm not sure where you are located. I think I forgot, but it's good to have you with us. Rosalinda watching from Florida. Hopefully not too stormy. Um, Linda joining from right here on the island of Oahu, Palolo Valley. Aloha, Linda. Uh, Carrie, nice to see you in NorCal. Julie joining from Hong Kong. Yoshiko all the way in Guam. Our other island friends over there. Linda Krauss, of course, in Pennsylvania. Um, Catherine Romanow joining us from Kelowna. And also Helen Ann. Aloha. Nice to have you. Adrian Woods, also from Florida. The gang's all here. What do you say? Shall we, shall we begin? It's time for us to go on a little walk. So our mele that we have been doing this month is called Po La'i La'i. And before we dive into the review... I wanted to remind you that Pola Ila'i is a beautiful composition by two, um, I don't know, I guess I would call them grand dames of the Hawaiian music scene. Um, of course, our Mary Kavena Pukui, who we have talked about a lot. Mary Kavena Pukui right here is the author of the Hawaiian Language Dictionary, the Olalo no Eel book, and so many chants and songs. Um, if you don't know who Mary Kavena Pukui is, then shame on you. You better go Google her after this. Uh, the lady to this side of me, her name is Maddie Lamb. And they were a dynamic duo who wrote many, many hulas and mele hula together. In fact, more than 25 mele that they composed together. Mary Kavanaugh Pukui, of course, was taking care of most of the lyrics because she was the wordsmith. And then Maddie Lamb was the genius at um, putting it all together, the arrangements and the melodies and all of that. I wanted to share a little bit more about Maddie Lamb today. So here's a picture of Maddie Lamb um, a little bit later on in life. So Maddie Lamb, her full name was Madeline Kaululehua Ohaili Lamb. She was born in 1910 and unfortunately passed away in 1985. This picture that you see right here is from a performance that she did on PBS. 
there is a video of her um, playing piano and talking about one of her beautiful melee that she wrote. So you'll have to check that out. Maybe I'll put a link in um, on our page a little bit later. Um, but Maddie Lam was a beautiful vocalist. She had a pretty voice. She could play piano. She was raised uh, knowing the Hawaiian language, although she didn't write um, all of her songs. She partnered with many people. Uh, she was also a, a part of a group called the Sissies, uh, Sissies Serenaders. And that group, uh, although not with Maddie Lam, they performed all the way back as, as early as Queen Lili Kalani. They performed in the court of uh, Lili Kalani, not Maddie, but the, the former Sissy singers. And then she was part of that group. She was later a part of a group um, that was headed up by Alfred Apaka. And he had a show called um, NBC Across the Sea. And he sh uh, had Hawaiian music that he shared on NBC. And she was also a part of the group um, started by Webley Edwards, who founded Hawaii Calls. So her voice and her music should be very, very familiar to you. I think we, we mentioned a few of her beautiful mele, of course, Hanauma, um, the singing bamboo, and of course, the mele that we're learning today, which is Po Lai Lai. Not only was she a singer and a arranger of music, but she was also a businesswoman. She taught piano lessons and singing lessons and also hula, private hula lessons in her own studio. And she partnered with a friend of hers um, named Mila Yap to start what was known as the Island Recording Studios. And they focused on um, recording songs specifically for halal. Uh, they probably weren't called halal at the time. They were called hula studios. And so they wrote, uh, or they recorded music, rather, that was specifically for hula dancers. Their main market was kumu hula and the students of kumu hula. So everybody had to have the record so that they could practice at home. This is uh, one of the Island Recording Studio records, and this is a 78 RPM record, which means on each side, maybe they could hold about three minutes. Uh, this, of course, is the record uh, that held the song that we're learning today, Po Lai Lai. This was actually the, the, um, the opposite side of it was Kaulana Napua. So that's a very famous song, of course, that is, um, you know, was written by Ellen Prendergast and tells the, the tale of the overthrow of Queen Liliuokalani. But on the opposite side was this, Po Lai Lai, as you can see, written by Pukui and Lam. Uh, the vocals on this was Louise Kaleiki and the Ho'oheno Serenaders. And I think I did put into the discussion on this event a link to Harry B. Sorio Jr.'s Territorial Airways where he played a version of this. Now, he didn't play this version because this is the original recording, one of the first times that this song was recorded. He played actually something that was another record. This record right here is a collector's edition. I wish I could get my hands on it. Um, Mele Hula. This was a re-release of those records that Maddie Lam uh, put out earlier. This one is on a different um, label. It was called Noilani Records, and it was a collaboration between Maddie Lam and um, another gentleman who decided to take all of those, those singles and, and the 78s and the 45s and put them onto a LP, a long play record, which housed all of these mele hula. You can see on this side, side one, right down here, number four, after Maki Ailana, you see Pola Ilai. So if you were here last, last month, um, we did Maki Ailana, and then after that, you see Pola Ilai, which is our mele that we're learning today. You can check out some of those other uh, songs that are on there. And on the back side of this album, um, there's actually, you know, kind of like liner notes. This was one of the very first records that was fully, um, uh, I guess, concepted, shot, and printed here in the Hawaiian Islands. Prior to this, you know, we would send the art away and it would come back and they could sell it. But this one was made completely here in the Hawaiian Islands. This is Mele Hula. If anyone gets their hands on this record and wants to just happen to send it my way, I would just be the happiest kumu alive because this is definitely a collector's edition with some of my very favorite hula. You probably have danced or sung or listened to all of these, if, if not most of them. 
Um, so this is Mele Hula, a collection of songs, mostly written by Mary Kavanapukui and Maddie Lam. Okay, too much talking, I know, but there's I, when I dive into it and I find all of these little gems, I want to share them with you. So I hope you like a little bit of history with your hula because that's what you're going to get. Anyways, let's dive into our hula. Pauku Ekahi, verse number one. We're going to review verse one and two, which we covered last time, and then we're going to go on to verse three. If you're anxious to learn the whole thing, too bad. You got to wait because every week we'll be doing one verse. Okay, so... Two verses last week, one more verse this week, and then there's two more months in July. You got to just keep coming back. That's how we hook you in, okay? So, okay. So it says, It is inviting the two of us, that's me and you, to go on a little passaggiato, a little walk uh, around the town or around the neighborhood. It's not really a fancy, um, you know, big to do. It's just a very simple thing. Let's go for a walk. So, your vamp in between the verses is going to start with a half a T to the right. That's left hand across your chest, right to that center point of your Betty Mu. And your right hand is extended out to the side. You're going to kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Then when we get to the verse, kaua, you're going to reach out and then into yourself. Of course, kaua is a very Hawaiian thought. It says we, the, the two of us, you and I. Kaua i. Kaholo holo, we're going to step. Snap, step, snap. Okay, if you can't hear my snap, just imagine. Okay, here we go. Kaua i kaholo holo. And when we're walking, it's not the middle of the day. It happens to be a moonlit night. Night. I kapo mahina la ila i. A kilo. We're going to gaze at the moon and admire it and observe it. In fact, a kilo. Ho'onanea, it's going to give us that relaxed feeling. Ho'onanea. And the sparkling of the stars. Ina hoku kalani. And then we holo to the right and kaholo to the left. Okay, that's your hands for that first verse. Let's try one more time. Ready, set, here we go. Ka'ua i kaholo holo. I kapo mahina la ila i. Ekil, oops. Ekilo onane. I na hoku o kalani. I caught myself because when I did ekilo, I was going to bring my hands down, but we're observing the moon. So we have to still be looking up to that top corner. I wanted to show you from a different angle the hoku o kalani because. When we're doing it, the first hoku is going to be kind of off to the side of your body here. And then the second hoku is going to be in front, above head level, and then to the side, and then to the front. So actually, you're going to have a little bit of a swivel in your shoulders. That's okay. So you don't want to do like this. Yeah, that's a different feel. You're going to let it, let the um, upper torso turn to the side, turn to the front, turn to the side, turn to the front. Okay, Hikino, let's try it back here. Kaua, two, three, just the hands. Kaua i kaholo holo. I kapo mahina la ila i gaze at the moon. E kilo ho na ne a i na hoku wa kalani. Okay, let's add the feet. So for this one, you're going to kaholo to the right and left, of course. Ready, kaholo. Ba -di -da -di -da -di -da -di -dum. Now, kawa is going to be that aoi step. So the right foot is going to go forward. And then as the hand comes in, you're going to draw it in. Lift the heel just slightly. Yeah? So when you lift out and then in. Let me show you the vavai cam so that you can see that a little bit better. So when you do kawa, the foot is flat. And then when you bring it in, you actually do get to lift that heel very slightly. Very rare in our choreography that you're going to lift the heel. So, ka -ua -i. And then you're going to step on that foot for a ka -o right, ka -o left. That's your holo holo. Okay, back to the main camera for ka -ua. Two, three, point right. ka -ua ka -o holo holo ka holo I kapo mahina la ila i gaze at the moon. Ekilo ho na ne 
Now it's a little tricky because I told you your top of your body is going to be pivoting a little bit. Your feet, they don't have to be stuck in this plane, but your feet should not really be turning side to side for this hoku, right? We're not turning half turn. Your steps are still going to be going side to side, but the top of your body is what's going to turn. So you're going to kaholo towards the right, hands are towards the left. Let's try it. Inahoku, ready, step to the right, and inahoku o kalani, kaholo to the right. And once again, kaua, you and I. Kaua i kaholo, holo, moon. I kapo mahina la ila i. Ekilo onane. Right and bend to the left. That's it. Okay, so it says, let's you and I go for a little walk in the clear light of the moon. Let's gaze and observe all of the stars in the heavens. Okay. <laughs> Sound like Santa Claus. Okay. Get. Anyways, sorry, inside joke. Okay, Pauku Elua, let's take a look at verse number two. We're going to review it right now before we dive in with the music. So, Ko Mayana Ke Ala talks about the fragrance. As we're walking along around the neighborhood, we get a little whiff of something magical. And I have to point out something in my hair right here. You see that? Oh, <laughs> I missed. You see that right there? This is the the Facebook Live debut debut of our Pua Kenny Kenny tree. Some of you have seen it on Instagram already, but that's a real Pua Kenny Kenny growing on our very own tree, which is a big deal because it's, in, it's a brand new tree. We only planted it a few months ago. Thankfully, it had some blossoms on it. So the reason I point that out is because, you know, when you're walking around the neighborhood, when you go by so-and-so's yard, oh, they have the most beautiful lawa'e patch and it has that nice kind of musky aroma then you go around the corner and oh boom look at that huge poor kenny kenny tree you know you know you're at so-and-so's house when you pass by that poor kenny kenny tree well in this verse they have walked along and they've arrived at a yard that is filled with the pikake pikake of course is the jasmine i didn't go out and buy myself a pikake lay maybe for the last the last week of this month i'll go buy pikake but it's very expensive right now so we don't want to go overboard so the pikake is the jasmine very very tiny flowers and delicate so we're going to bring our hands close together for this pikake and we're going to pick slowly so that's the flower that we're smelling but how do we smell it well we take a deep breath so we're going to bring our hands to our nose then pick slowly. And that wind has carried the fragrance. To me. On the wind called the kolonahe. Okay, that was the whole verse. I know I didn't really go over it very clearly. So let me slow it down. From your nose out, komai anna, reverse. Ke Allah. Pick at the 45 degree angle, use your wrist as a guide. O kapua, o kapi kake. Then you're gonna beckon from 45 into your chest. I hali hali iamai. And then the wind motion. E kamakani, right hand goes over the head, and then left hand. Kolonahe, and then your hand goes right into your place for your vamp. Did you see how that went? The hand goes over wind and then is right in place as you kaholo to the right. Okay, let's try it without me jabber jabbering. Komayana, just the hands. Two, three, and. Komai anna ke Allah. O kapua o kapi kake. And you're in place for your vamp and left. 
Okay, so this verse is a little bit simpler, not as complicated as the first, but still it's not all kaholo. It's going to start with a kaholo to the right and left, so starting easy, two, three, go. Ho mai anna ke ala. Then we have four hella. So let's review what the hella looks like. Starts with the feet in a V formation, and then you're going to put it out to the side and bring it back out to the side and bring it back. Now, let me show you, you want to make sure, let me show the Vavai cam so that you can see. You wanna make sure that your feet are flat to the ground in our style. You're gonna touch the whole foot to the ground from the toe to the heel, okay? We don't want, um, although this is very pretty with the heel up, that's not the style that we were taught from my kumo, okay? So let's come on back. And for your okapu, okapikake, your four hella, make sure you sit down into your hella, flat footed, ready? And pick the flower, o kapua, o kapi kake, then holo to the right. I hali hali i amai, e kamakani kolo na he holo to the right. Two, three, and ko mai anake ala. Ko mai, no, no, that was wrong. I was making any cards. Ko mai gozes, ready, go. Ko mai anna ke ala hella. O kapua o kapi kake. I hali hali i amai. E kamakani kolo na he. And holo to the right and left. You know, when Kumu starts making mistakes, that's my cue to turn on the music and stop trying to talk and sing at the same time. That's why we pre-record, because the brain is getting old. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pull up the recording of Pola Ila Inao. I want to just point out to you, I'm using a recording of myself, which I know there are beautiful recordings. Um, there's a... a Lim family recording that I love. I think that actually um, Raya Helm did a beautiful, more recent recording of this. And I highly encourage that you go out and use those professional musicians' music. Now, the reason that I don't use it is because I did before. Like, I taught this same song last year. And if you go back and watch it, it doesn't have any sound on it because Facebook said, Hanana, you don't have rights to this song. And so it took away all the music. So then you just have to look. It's like a silent film, and it's very weird. So um, that's why we're teaching it again. And I re-recorded my own music. And so I have the rights to use this music. But when you perform this, you go find a beautiful recording by one of Hawaii's fabulous recording artists, and you use that one. Or better yet, hire some live musicians or go find them in a restaurant or something. Go play and dance with them. Okay? So this is my version of Pola Ila E. Here we go. First two verses. Hello. First one. Kahua. Kahua i kaholo holo. I kopo mahina la i kilo. E kilo ha ne a. Flicka flicka. Ana ho. Kahua i kahoho mu i kapo mahina la i la i kilo e kilo ho ana ne a i na ho kuhu o kalani Hello Ko mai Ko mai ana te Hello O kapua o kapi kake Hali hali Right into that now. Komai. Komai anake. Hello. O kapua o kapi. Hali hali. I hali hali amai. E kamakani korona he. Hola. Hola no. That's it. Okay, so since this is a live class, if you have any questions, today is the day to type in all of your questions. Because remember, 
next week, for those of you that are joining a little bit later, next week's class is going to be pre-recorded because Luke and I have to go celebrate our 10-year anniversary. We're going to the island of Lanai and we're not answering any messages while we're there. So too bad, so sad. <laughs> but um, now is the time, today, not when you watch the replay of this, okay? So ask all of your questions um, for verse 1 and verse 2. And just let us know, okay, this is the line, and I'm not sure. What do the hands, what do the feet, whatever, 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 okay? So that's verse 1 and 2. Are you ready to start verse 3? I, okay, I thought so. Pauku e kolu. Of course, pauku means verse, in case you're wondering. So you see right there, it says pauku 3, or pauku e kolu. That is verse number 3. Okay, so first verse says, let's go on a walk. Verse 2 says, Oh, I smell something. It's a peacocket. Verse 3 says, ah, oh, I hear something. So we're using all of our senses. We're not just blindly walking around following our phone, GPS, where are we going, right? We're actually observing the world around us. Ho'olono anaikikani says, I hear a sound, okay? So your hand motions for this are going to mimic what we're saying. I hear a sound. So your holo to the right is your vamp and your holo to the left. You're going to leave your left hand out to the side, and your right hand is going to come cup right behind your pepeo, your ear, right here, okay? So not your eye, not your eyebrow, not your nose, not your mouth, but your ear. You're going to put it right here, and you're going to look to the side. Yes, you stay there for that whole time. Don't worry, you're doing something extra fancy downstairs. So we're going to go. Now that kani, the word kani means sound. And it can be used as sort of a generic sound. Um, but you might have heard kani kani pele, kani kani pele. You know that song? That's jingle bells, jingle bells. So the Hawaiian word for jingle is kani kani. Yeah, so it's kind of making that sound, jingle, jingle. So now, we're not hearing the sound of bells. We're hearing the sound of the mandolin. No, just kidding. The ukulele. <laughs> the ukulele motion in um, hula looks a lot like the guitar motion <laughs> and the mandolin motion. Anyways, you're just going to put your left hand out to the side as if you're holding the chords of the ukulele, but you don't have to worry about G7, B flat, F, C. You just make pretty hands. Okay, then your right hand is just going to strum and strum and strum and strum. Okay, don't try to play along. Okay, you're just going to go one, two, no, no, no. Down and up and down and up. It's really only like two strums or four if you count down, up, down, up. Okay. But you don't have to actually strum in time with the ukulele that you hear on the recording. Okay, ho'olono, I think I hear. Ho'olono anastehi. The sweet sounds. Hone hone aka ukulele. Okay? And the mele. Oh, I hear a singing of a song. Me kamele ho'o ho'oli. Ho'oli means happy. Ho'o ho'oli means to make happy. The mele ho ho oli is the song that makes me happy. Okay, so this song is a one that brings up good feelings, not the ooh, I hate that song, but oh, I love this song. From your lips with a nice smile in your eyes and your cheeks. Me kamele ho 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 oli. Your hands go out to the 45 degree angle. Yeah. Then the left hand is going to come to your heart, and the right hand is going to wave and then into the heart. Okay, so this last line says, Ho'olana, it makes my heart soothe or um, kind of float. It lifts up my heart. Ho'olana kapu'uvai. Or what does it say? Uplifting the heart. That's what it says in the translations. Mahalo for that. Okay, so Ho'olana kapu'uvai. That's what you got. Okay, so let's go from listening. I hear. And that song, someone singing. And it uplifts my heart. 
Ho'ola na ka pu'uvai. I think it says ika pu'uvai, but I always hear people sing ho'ola na ka pu'uvai. So whatever the kupuna sing, that's what I'm going to do. Too bad if it's written differently. Okay. So shall we try one more time? Just hands. I know it's a little screwy. Right hand behind your ear. Left hand extends. Yeah. Because we just came from our vamp. Vamp, the vamp, and. Olo no na ike kani. Strum slow. Ho ne ho ne a ka ukulele. From your lips singing. Me kamele ho o hau o li. Ho o la na ka pu uvai. And then we vamp to the right. One more time, just the hands. Ho olo no, listen. A ho olo no na ike kani. Hone hone a ka ukulele. Me kamele ho o hau o li ho o la na ka pu uvai. Okay. Now, before we go into the feet, I think we're going to have to practice some basics, okay? Before we put it together with hands. So, the first basic that we need to practice is kind of a least favorite of most of my wahine. It's called lele. Uwehe. Lele uwehe. Now, there are many different varieties of lele uwehe. The one that we happen to be using for this choreography is a step, point, together, heel, lift. I know that's a mouthful. Um, we're going to do it twice, in fact. So when I say step, we're not going to step forward. We're going to step to the side. Then this le uh, sorry, left foot is going to come forward. Now, point for our halal is still a flat foot. So heel and toe, everything put on the ground. Then your feet come together. And then you're going to lift the heels without popping up like a jack in a box. You're just going to push the heels forward. See how that nice fluff? I chose this move particularly for its uwehe fluffiness. We're going to take a now lele uwehe to the left. So step to the left, point right together, and uveke. Sometimes it's called uveke, but uveke. Okay, so let me show you with the Vavai cam so you can see it up close and personal. Oh, I guess I'll stand here. Okay, so we're going to once again step right, point left, together, uwehe. Step left, point right, together, uwehe. Shall we try again? Ready, set, here we go. Step right, point left, together, uwehe. Step left, point right, together, uwehe. Okay, so now come back and look at the whole thing. Now, it's not just the feet that are doing busy work. If you're really focused on it, your hips should also be moving. When you step to the right, your weight is going to shift into that right hip. Then the left foot comes forward together. Uwehe. Then opposite, we're going to shift into that left hip and together. Uwehe. There's going to be a little rise and fall, rise and fall, or iluna ilalo, iluna ilalo, your your body is going to rise and fall, okay? But only on the step point. On the heel lift or the uehe part, no rise and fall of the body, okay? So let's try that. Ready, set, here we go. Step, point, together, uehe. Step, point, together, uehe. That's all. You just have to do it two times, okay? Then we're going to go into the kaholo. Of course, kaholo is a very simple step that we always do four counts. One, two, three, four, one, two two, three, four. You don't have to review that. We've been doing it over and over. But let's try now. Lele uwehe going into kaholo. Ready, two, lele uwehe. Step, point, together, uwehe. Step, point, kaholo to the right, two, three, and left. Keep going, kaholo, kaholo to the right, and kaholo to the left. Okay, now the last step that we need to practice before we go in to put it together with the hands is called the ami. We have an ami kahela. Do I have ami kahela? Okay, so ami kahela is um, a name that we don't hear too much, but the ami kahela is a hip circle that goes with the kahela beat. Now I'm gonna pick up my ipu right here, Hina girl. And she's going to get to shine on a Tuesday. She didn't even put lipstick, but here we are. Okay, so the kahela beat is the one that sounds like this. Utete, 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 utete. Okay, uh, that kahela is that 
double B. And it's kind of like a, a single ami, yeah? When you normally do ami, when you practice ami, you get utete, 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 utete. That's a circle, okay? So we are going to get two ami kahela, but before that, we're going to get what I just call a slow ami. I don't think I have a slide for this, but we're going to do a slow ami where you take a little bit more time and then we get two ami kahela. Now, it's not an ami kuku, the da dun da dun da dun like you've seen in, in some of our other hulas. The ami kahela is the fastest that we're going to go for this because we're taking a slow walk. Yep. But we're going to do a slow ami before we do two ami kahela. So it's going to look like this. Slow, slow, ami, utete, utete. You see what I mean? There's two ami kahela at the end, but there's a really slow one at the beginning where you have to draw it out. Okay? Ready, slow, ami, first. Slow, two, three, then. One, two, one, two. And then we're going to vamp. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's try just the feet from the lele uwehe. Ho olo no ana ike kani no ah words on the screen. Hone hone aka ukulele. Meka mele ho ha oli slow ami. Ho ola na kaslu juice. Okay, that's what I meant. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay, all right. You know. Okay. So now we're going to put it together with the hands and the feet. Some of you I know, because you're eager beavers, you already went and put them together at home, and you're just like, okay, cool, catch up to me, but you're supposed to just do the feet, so gong you. Okay. Ho'olo, no, put your right hand behind your ear, left hand is here. We're going to lele uehe towards our elbow first, okay? Ready? Hold it here for two lele uehe. Set. Here we go. Olo no ana ike kani. Oh, I almost fell over. Kaholo. Hone hone aka ukulele from your lips. Kaholo. Me kamele ho ha u oli. Slow ami. Hola na ka pu uvai. Param bam bari da bi da bi da bi. Okay, before we do it again, I want you to see something that I do in between. The vamp and going into ho'olono. Watch this. I'm coming a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, see my hands? They're facing down. Watch it. Ho'o. Okay, I don't really know how to explain this to you. But from here, and then it's going to be palms down again here. But there's a little bit of a vili of the hands while you get there. Vili, I mean like this, twisting. Yeah? A little twist like that. Not Nothing too crazy like I'm going to strangle you, but this, that's all. Okay, so from here, palms down, lift to the ear. Because you're going to hold it here for so long, so you have to give it a little bit extra zhuzh. So here we go. The second time, then. From your lips. Me kamele ho o ha u o li ami. Ho o la na ka pu u vai ka ho lo. Ba di da bi da bi da bi. Ho o la na zhuzh the hands and. Ho o lo no an na i ke ka ni. Ho ne ho ne a ka. Turn that uh, left hand palms up, yeah. Me kamele ho o ha u o li. Slow ami. Ho'ola na ka pu uvai, and then holo to the right, and holo to the left. Okay? Sorry if it's hard to see my hips, how they're moving in this dress. I know the Betty mu'u is not, like, really easy to see what's happening. So you may perhaps have a question. You want to ask me a question? Bring it on. There's a question coming. <gasps> Hi, Carrie! Okay. Are all three ami circles going clockwise or counterclockwise? That is a great question, Carrie. Okay, so in the school of hula that I was taught, um, a right ami starts on the left. Yeah, Auntie Le Momi Maldonado Maikumu, she always said right ami starts to the left, yeah, and then goes towards the back first. 
So this is what we call a right ummy when I'm going this way. And this happens to also be clockwise. Okay. For this hula, all of the ummy in this verse are going to be clockwise, a.k.a. right ummies. Okay. Great, great question. Um, let me just do a little demo on ummy because, I mean, not everybody knows what I'm talking about with clockwise, especially those of us who, you know, English might be not be our first language. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of a demo. So let me just gather up my gathers here so you can see my hips a little bit better. Okay, so right hand across your chest, left hip goes out to the side. Yeah, and we're going to go towards the back first. So it's going to go back, right, left, and then back, right, left, back, right, left. And you have to come all the way around because we're going to get ready to kaholo to the right. And let's try that whole thing again. It goes slowly back, right, left, back, right, left, back, right, left, kaholo. Can we try the overhead camera, see if that helps at all? Here we go, slowly back and left, back, right, left, back, right, left. Well, you can see all our fans here because it's stinking hot. One more time, slowly go. Back, right, left, back, right, left, back, right, left, kaholo to the right. Okay, let's try the whole thing. Ho'olo no, and then ho'olo no ana ike kani, hone hone aka ukulele, me kamele ho'oli. Back, right, left, back, right, left, back, right, left. Ba -da 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 Great question, Carrie. I hope that helped. I hope that answered all of your questions and made all of your ummy dreams come true. Any more questions? Not right now? Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's try now, see if I can. Can I just do one verse? That is a question. What verse is this? I know we had to start on verse 2, but that was verse 3. Um, now, I think all we have left to do today is put all 1, 2, and 3 together. Don't forget, next week's lesson is going to be pre-recorded, but we will schedule it to go live at the same time, 5 p.m. Um, and if it doesn't work out for you to watch that one live, don't worry about it because you can watch the replay whenever. Um, and then the following week, we'll be back to finish it live together. Maybe I'll get some pikake for myself or something special, a new ukulele, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Luke laughed really hard at that one. Maybe I'll just stick to pikake. Uh, okay, so let's do pauku e kahi elua e kolu, verse one, two, and three. Um, just a really, really fast review before we jump into the music. First, first, let's you and I go for a walk under the clear moonlight. Let's observe and relax all of the stars in the heavens. That's verse 1. Verse 2 talks about the fragrance. We smell the peacock. And brought to us by 
the wind. And then go right into your vamp. Third verse is the one that we just did. Don't forget that little extra flippy of the hands. Then we hear the sound, the sweet sounds, the honey sweet sounds of the ukulele. And the song that makes us so happy. And uplifts the heart. All right. That was our speed review. Good luck. First one, two, and three. It looks like we have lots of time, so we're going to try to do this three times. Three times review and then pause for today. Okay, so here comes review number one. Hola. First verse repeats. Kawa. Kawa i kaholo. I kapo mahina la i la i. E kilo ho onane. It's really loud today, yeah? Sorry about that. Okay, so that was our first time through. Now, I have been doing some private lessons via Zoom, and one of, my thing, one of the things that my students have asked is that they're actually more used to dancing, um, watching from behind. So for this second time through, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, but we'll try it, see if it helps. Um, I'm actually going to turn my back to you and dance it um, normal way, I guess. Uh, we'll see if I can figure out how to flip it backwards. But let me know if this is helpful. To me, I feel like dancing in front of this with my butt to the camera is not helpful to me. But if it is helpful to you, then we can see about getting a different angle or something like that. But let's try this. Kawaii koholo holo. I'm going to turn my back to you. You have to, I don't know, mind read what my hands are doing. They, they said that this was helpful on Zoom. So let me know if it's true for Facebook. Let's see how it goes. Sounds like a bad idea, but okay. Am I in the right place? Kawa. Kawa. Kawa i kaholo holo. Kami kapo mahina la i la i. E kilo ho onane. Follow your hands to the right. Kawa. Kawa i kaholo. Move. I kapo mahina la i la i. Kilo admire. E kilo ho onane. I na ho kuhuo kalani. Pula. Komai. Komai anake. Slow hello. Oh, 
Well, how was that? For me, personally, it, it sucked. But let me know what you think. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, Clara and Barbara, you're going to need a few more votes before I do anything drastic and decide. It helped? Oh, no. Why did I do that? Anyways. I'm just picturing that Luke is gonna just find the worst thumbnail of me with my back to the camera and like that's gonna be all over YouTube. Okay. Anyways, let me know. You know us. We're always trying to try new things. That's why we have four cameras and lights and microphones and all the things. Um, but you know. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Okay. I'm really gonna think about it. I'll look back at your your comments later and see. I don't think, uh, maybe if it were side by side, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, maybe for a review video. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're running out of time. Five minutes left. We're going to do it the regular way where I face you and dance and you face me and dance. And <sighs> This is Pola Ila Evers. One, two, and three, our final review of the week before Luke and I sail off into the sunset just kidding we'll be here on saturday before we leave for lanai okay here we go Hula. Kaua. Kaua. Kaua i to breathe in. I hear a song and it's not the dog barking across the street. That is the end of verse 3. If you are interested in learning verse 4, you can come back next week. Um, at the same time as our normal class, we will be previewing a uh, brand new uh, video. 
and you folks can feel free to comment and chat to one another while that is happening and maybe you can answer each other's questions who knows maybe i'm not needed anymore i can retire <laughs> but uh, i will put out that video of verse number four it'll probably be a shorter um snippet it won't be the full hour so just know that verse four will be coming to you and of course as always the replays of verse one two and three are always available i'll send you a youtube link that you can um, uh, not send you, but I'll post it along with next week's verse so that you can come back and review verse 1, 2, and 3 using this video if you want to review. Yeah? So um, that will be next week. But before that, on Saturday, we still have Hene Hene Kouaka. You can find out what happened with the Beef Stew Challenge. Um, and <laughs> if you haven't been joining us on Saturdays, then you'll know what's up with that. By the way, Mama Chun, thank you so much. Mama Chun's making us beef stew tomorrow to pick up in Makiki. So there will be a third entrant in the beef stew challenge. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, for all of your support, and especially for being here and being a part of our global hula ohana. Hope you had fun with us on our little bit of a walk. I, I'm going to count those points and have, have an extra glass of something a little later on, okay? All right, until next time, keep practicing and off we go.